Dad, if you found me, if you're here, I've left clues to my whereabouts. A diary, this message. You just have to look closely. Master the house you built and we'll find each other. Farewell. Astrid, you arrived. You've been waiting. I really thought I was going to wake up back home this time. In a comfortable bed. I'm sorry. I thought we couldn't come back. That exiting the house was... Oh, we're going to take it home? Apparently that belief was erroneous. As you can see, we've returned. I know what you're thinking. There's no escape from hell. Or purgatory. That, mythologically speaking, the potential of escape from Hades is always superseded by eternal imprisonment. I can assure you, your response is based on primitive feelings caused by your parochial indoctrination. I don't need a lecture. What's your carefully reasoned explanation for our return? I'm still developing a hypothesis. This may not be the same house. We may have merely exchanged one quantum reality for another. But you remember me, right? I mean, we have our memories, don't we? Certainly. I remember your irrationality, your violence, your superstition, and of course your friendship. I'm thankful for that last part anyway. I'd hate to have to kick your ass before I had my wheeze. So everyone's back? We can discuss that later, after the transition effects have diminished. You still seem weak. I'm not some wilting violet. What's the skinny? We do have pressing concerns. In particular, where did we go between the instant we departed this house and the moment we returned? Do you recall anything? I remember a wall of mist saying goodbye. Nothing more? Nothing tangible. 
You? I step into the fog, and then I was here, awake, although I fear my memory has been tampered with. Maybe Bill can help. He built this damned house. Let's get you some nourishment, though I'm afraid we're out of Wheaties, was it? I'll settle for the Greg rule. Kind of developed a taste for it, actually. Well, well, well. Look what the smart house dragged in. A heaping plate of cherry pie. Travis. Red, glad you made it. Why is everyone acting like I've been away forever? Well, we just missed you is all. Sorry. Yeah, you sure are sorry. The sorriest guy you'll ever meet? Yeah, I guess I am. About everything. I'm not sure how to take that coming from you. A manipulation? I'm not playing you, Astrid. This isn't a game anymore. We kept our memories this time. Those I wish I could forget. Yeah, well, neither of us had that luxury, Francis May. Don't call me that. Ever. Perhaps we might table this discussion for another time. There are other concerns. We aren't certain. Some contain food, some personal ephemera. But why do they have less food in boxes? Why not just restock the pantry like last time? It's a mystery. One among many. Get away from there, you crazy! The doors. The zone of blackness. It's all as it was before we learned to control the house. Yeah, so no touchy, okay? Just once I'd like to look out here and see a sunrise. It's black now, and black it will always be. Get used to it. Not everything is so settled, Travis. There are anomalies here. What does that mean? Go ahead, show her. Oh, the hell with this. He's been in a position like this since before I arrived. He's been unresponsive to every attempt at communication. Well, what's wrong with him? It's possible he had a faulty transition. It's the worst case of freezer burn I've ever seen. What? Just trying to add a little levity. Christ. Is he dead? I can sense continued consciousness from him, but it's diffused somehow. Can we thaw him out? Why? He'd make a nice end table or coat rack. It may be dangerous to tamper, at least until we better understand what's occurred. Let's wrap him up in tinfoil, put him in his oven, and set it to broil. That ought to do the trick. Maybe Bill can help. Wait a minute, is he like this too? Oh, you guys better quit pulling that crap. I'm going to get real pissed off and hit somebody. Probably you, Travis. Let it go, Red, all right? Well, then for God's sake, tell me what's happening. To our knowledge, Bill is just fine. What does that mean, to our knowledge? Bill has not returned. Well, I just got here. Maybe he's next in line. It's not so simple. Travis and I knew to expect you because your closet, your clothes were in it. Bill's closet is empty. sleeping bag, right there. It's gone. And this is where he had Samantha's diary. He was writing in it after he finally decided to read it. Our belongings were here before we returned, Astrid. Thus we can only deduce the obvious. Bill's not returning. Well, why wouldn't he come back? Perhaps his destiny lies elsewhere. So it's just us sinners here now. I meant no such thing. Right. Fine. What 
do you want? This isn't the first time you've had to survive without Bill. He'll make out fine. This is none of your business. Just deal with it and you'll feel better, all right? Maybe he... Maybe he reached home. Maybe he found his wife and daughters and is living a full and happy life. Maybe you should be happy for him. So what are you saying? That the house brought back everyone who... Who wanted to come back, Astrid. Yes, exactly. And that includes you? You want to be trapped in this freaking antique? I'm in a $2 million house, and I have Honey and Darlene in my beck and call. But yeah, I want to be here. With you. Spare me the violins. You don't even know me. Don't I? I've helped you through grief through a dozen lifetimes. Bill doesn't survive, sweetheart. He can't be with you. I don't believe you. Bill can't feel what you do, Astrid. Not ever, in any reality. He's obsessed with his family and setting right his mistakes. Am I such a terrible alternative? You don't want me to answer that. Bill and you are nothing, Astrid. At least not compared to what you and I can be. You think this is easy for me? Watching you fawn over another man like a teenage schoolgirl? I do not want to hear this. You need to hear this. We've had children, Astrid. Beautiful children. They deserve life. If you don't get out of my sight, so help me Fine. out. Fine. Fine. Just remember that I'll be here for you. Eternally here. I'll wait as long as it takes. tornado thing? It's creepy. He's creepy. Alo is our friend, and he may possess information crucial to our survival. About Bill, about the boxes, about where precisely we went after we departed this house. Keep trying. Keep smiling. That's what friends are for. What the hell are you doing? Ending this nightmare for good, right now. Where's the access panel? It must be deactivated, as so though the house has retreated into lockdown mode for letting user interface. You mean it's not coming up on purpose? Precisely. The house may be protecting itself from something. Like what? Outdoors? Unknown. But since I've been here, I have detected no presence. It's as though vitality, the spirit of the house, is gone. Or in hiding. So the house is playing hide-and-seek? Great. Ted, we're it. Maybe this explains the boxes. Emergency provisions for the users? Until such time as the house is strong enough to resume its caretaking duties? Indeed, there's a logic to it, assuming the house was injured and is directing all energies towards repairing itself. But what damaged the house? What could damage it? Was it us leaving? Maybe died of a broken heart or loneliness. Or was it the energy expended by the house retrieving us that caused the damage, I wonder? Regardless, it is now imperative that we get back our missing memories. Is there a plan hatching in that highly evolved mind of yours? There may be danger. There always is. What is it this time? Another seance? Astral projection? Bilocation? Hypnosis. No, 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 no. 
I'm not letting you open up my mind so you can tell me to cluck like a chicken every time I take a dump or something. Forget it. Typical. Ashton, will it work? As I stated before, the rules here are different. Some of my abilities work precisely as intended. Others... Make us act crazy as loons. Yes. The incident with the mirror was unfortunate. Sickening, actually. Get over it, sweet cheeks. You think that was the first time you ever dressed up as a dominatrix? It would be fruitful if we could focus on the matters at hand. You said it would be dangerous. Hypnosis isn't normally dangerous. True, but even in its diminished state, this house responds to the stimuli our minds, conscious and unconscious, provide. It's entirely possible that whatever you remember during the hypnosis could manifest itself here, in the flesh. I've got a bad feeling about this. It would require absolute quiet. Let me translate that for you, Travis. It means you have to shut up. to see you. All of you. We feared the worst. I only wish there was more time to talk. But I've been back to my lab. i found a way to fix everything. Oh, brother, the more things change. How? After we were separated, I thought about things. About Samantha's message in particular. And I concentrated on returning to the lab. I worked there for months. And by synthesizing everything I'd seen and learned here, I developed a new transit system for breaching quantum realities. As you can see, I arrived fully clothed with diagrams, equipment, and more. Oh, the brave knight rides in his white steed to rescue us peasants. To rescue the world, Travis. I can undo everything. Our imprisonment, all of it. I'm going to uncreate this house. 